Lisa Hoda. Today we're at BC Place watching the Lions practice for their next big game. Every game is definitely a big game just because they're not doing so well this season. But we're going to check in with the players to see what is going on. This is going to be a two-part special. The first one being here with the Lions and the second with the felines, the dance crew. So get ready to dance with me tomorrow or actually next week for the next episode. But first, this could be a word from our sponsors right after Come the back, break. you guys. We're here with the Lions at BC Place. We're watching them practice for their next game, which is going to be with the Alouettes. They're focusing on their special teams practice. As you can see behind me, they're working hard. So if they can beat the Alouettes, the best team in the league, they can definitely take the cup. It's definitely a turning point if they can do it. Their season right now, not so good, but it's okay. There's, we're in mid-season, so we still have a couple of games before anything really bad could really happen. And, of course, we will be talking to the players to see what is going on. We'll see you in just a Back few minutes. you guys. I'm here with Manny, number 84. So you're one of the rookies on the team. Thank you for joining me. All right. Thanks. How was today's practice? Um, today's practice really is a mental day where you take mental reps the day before the game just to make sure you're sharp on everything and ready to execute. So you guys are preparing for a big game against the Alouettes. Tell us about that. I'm really just really just having a, the mindset ready to come out and just dominate and execute with the mentality that you're going to win and just come out and play ball all four quarters. And what do you, how do you get physically ready for the game? Physically, um, during the week, you know, you prepare with practices, then weight training, but really everything really just starts with the mind. Mentally, you have to be ready. So this is your first season with the Lions. Can you tell us where you're from? Um, I'm from Alexandria, Louisiana. How do you enjoy for the uh, enjoy playing for the BC Lions? Um, I'm enjoying it, man. It's a really great opportunity to be able to play ball, whether you're in the U.S. or up here. So as long as I'm able to compete, I'm happy. So have you been to Vancouver before? Or? Um, no, nah, this is my first time ever crossing the border coming to Canada. So, yeah, my first time for everything up here. Do you enjoy living in Canada right now in Vancouver? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Really, I'm down in Siri, but what I like about Canada, the weather's not too hot and it's just laid back and the people are polite and friendly. What can we expect from you from the rest of the season? I'm um, just hard work and just trying to be productive, man. Just making plays and just doing my job. Do you find it's tough being a rookie? Kind of a little bit because, you know, people have like expectations for you and different things they want you to meet. But the, I just stay humble, man, and leave it all in God's hand. What's your personal thing that you're working on right now, personal goal? My personal goal right now is just to finish up in the top of the, um, the league, like against the receivers on the east and the west, and just to be a productive player on the team. So at the end of the season, you know, once you see all the guys and the final stats and stuff, I can look up and see my name up there somewhere. Sounds good. Well, thank you for joining me. Good luck. All right, thanks. I'm here with Corey Banks. Thank you for joining me. Yes, how you doing? I'm doing pretty well. I've got to say the practice is pretty exciting. Can you tell us a little bit about it, what you're doing? Today? What I was doing individually, oh, well, I was uh, just running around, relaxing, you know, this is the day before the game, just have to be real. Mental day, slow day, get your muscles relaxed so you can play at a high, at a, <laughs> play at a high level tomorrow, you know. How do you mentally prepare for a game? Because tomorrow is going to be a big game for you guys placing the Alouettes. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm already prepared. If you're not prepared now, I mean, you know, you might well pack your bags. But uh, we prepared for the Alouettes all week. Uh, we know the beast we're facing and, um. It's going to be fun tomorrow. We're just going in with attitude. Just win, baby. However we got to do it, we just have to do it. So the season right now it's started off a bit bumpy. Can you tell us exactly what's been going on? I mean, honestly, I'll be honest with you, I don't want to sound like a jerk or anything, but I don't even remember the first nine games because uh, the first eight games, because it doesn't matter. I mean, right now, the season begins now. As far as I'm concerned, we're 0-0, and, and the season begins tomorrow. So come check us out. How important is it to be on a positive state of mind, especially with the media here always trying to bring you down, not bring you down, but kind of in a bit of negative, I guess, sometimes? I mean, it's propaganda and everything you do, but as uh, far as that, you know, we have to play for each other, man. The media doesn't have anything to do with this. This is a job for everyone out here, you know, so our livelihood in a sense. We just play. I mean, football, you're going to win, you're going to lose. So, uh, like I say, we're on, um, we're on the up and up. We can't get no worse than we are now, so we just... We're the underdogs. All we got to do is play relaxed. We have everything to gain, nothing to lose. So you've been with the Lions for quite a while. How long have you been playing with the BC oh, Lions? This is my fourth year here in BC. Uh, I was here to do the good. And um, I don't know if you want to call this the bad, but it's a little, a little worse than we are accustomed around here. But like I say, we have 10 games left. Uh, 
if we can go 10 to no, nobody remembers the first half of the season. So uh, that being said, we're going to take one game, one approach at a time, and just slug it out. So it's a championship fight tomorrow. You know, the best will come out on top. Sounds good. So it's going to be being positive. So make sure you guys check the lines out. See you guys in just a few minutes. I'm here with Ryan, number 13. Thank you for joining me. Hello. How are you? I'm doing really well. How about you? Pretty good. Pretty good. How was practice today? That was pretty good. You know, I mean, not really a, you know, practice, more of a walkthrough, just kind of making sure everybody got the right assignments down and all that. So, I mean, but, you know, it was good to, you know, just uh, clean things up and, you know, everybody, you know, seemed to be ready to go. So. so how important is it to get momentum and win the next game? I mean, it's very important. You know, it's the, you know, latter part of the season, you know, the last stretch. So, I mean, uh, you know, of course, coming off a of bye, you know, um, you know, we really want to come out and, you know, uh, you know, get this first win under our belt. So, how important is it that this is a big game to win? Basically, do you think after this game, if you lose, that's a, it's going to be like that way for the rest of the season? Um, no. I mean, you know, you don't think that way. You know, you can't think that way in a professional sport. You know, you just, you know, you you, you know, you just come out, come to work, come to practice, and you know, you look every game as a must win. You know, so, you know, no matter like if our record right now is three and five or or we're eight and zero, oh, you know, every game is that you know important so um so you know everybody looking at this game like it's important you know not like nothing to lose you know it's just it's a very important game for our season you know we need to get back on the winning track and you know it starts now how long have you been playing for the bc lions uh this is my second year so how have you been enjoying it so far uh pretty well you know i mean uh you know it's a good experience and you know, I mean, you know, if, if you love the game, you know, you you pretty much love football, then, you know, wherever you're at, you're going to love it. But I really like B.C. Vancouver is a cool place, so it's good. Where else have you played? Um, uh, Just here. Just here, really. So, yeah, that's it. Are you originally from Vancouver? Oh, no, I'm from Southern California, the best California, so. Is it a big change, though, moving from California to Vancouver? Um. A little bit, uh, more so just the weather, you know. Um, I say that's probably the biggest change. Um, I mean, you know, Vancouver, you know, it's, it's pretty busy in the city. So, I mean, L.A., I'm used to busy cities, all like that. So, um, I mean, but, uh, you know, more freeways in L.A. than out here. So, little stuff like that. But, I mean, but it's not, besides the weather, it's not too much of a difference. And so what position do you play with the Lions right now? I play re uh, receiver and return man, so. And any last words before tomorrow's game? Uh, no, just, uh, you know, uh, hope we can go out there and execute and get the win. Okay, well, thank you for joining me. All right, thank you.